All right, here we are at, at the barn. I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of the hay grapple and why we stack it on the trailer that way so they can grab the hay grapple and put it in the barn. So, got some lights set up so I can see. Got the telehandler hooked up to the uh, farm hand. And uh, this is that new spot we're gonna be putting this, the hay in. The wall I put up, there it is. Oh yeah, I was gonna do plastic on the ground or at least spray foam the corners because it kind of cracked and might leak water. Fuck. I'm just gonna go with it. It's just, I'm tired and it's too much to deal with right now. Maybe next time. We'll learn a lesson. We'll at least see how bad it is, right? If I lose all of it, then we'll know it's super priority. If I only lose a few, then it wasn't really worth worrying about. All right, so let's get started.
back, good morning. So, my least favorite thing to see in the day. I got hay in the fields, clouds, overcast. This is stupid. It's where the harder I try and the more I try to do well, the more the universe throws curveballs at me. I suppose when I uploaded this, I didn't choose easy mode. I probably clicked hard mode. That makes sense, that makes sense. This isn't very easy, none of this is very easy. But anyway, last night I got all the bales out of the field, which is good. I'm tired, it took a lot of work. I really wish I had help doing this. It's like a thousand times easier with two other people. One person just has to drive the truck, and the other person just stacks them. I'll throw them on the trailer, but doing all three is too much. Anyway, so I got the stack of hay here at the barn. I didn't unload it last night. I'm gonna put it in the barn now. Uh, a few things were loose on the farmhand. I maybe missed it, tighten it, or it got tight, and then you use it, and then it, you know, comes loose. So I gotta tighten a couple things there, and I'm gonna see if I can maybe try to figure out how to add a hook or something to grab that, that center bale. It's kind of being stupid um, as far as how well it's working. It's not working as great as I had, had hoped, but way better than than it was. Uh, we just, you know, keep refining, keep refining until we get it right. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to go take the tail hand to the shop and do that, and uh, then we'll get this unloaded. Awesome, there we go, in the barn, right there. Looks good, we're gonna go with that. I just dropped the last couple over here, stack up there between the posts, it's hard to get it where with the post, so I'll stack that a little bit by hand, not a big deal. Farmhand's working okay. Uh, still on the drop bales, I think the bales are a little light. I tensioned it up on the baler, so when we go back out to bail later, they should be a little uh, tighter bales. You know, I'm kind of getting, getting used to this baler, so, uh, I need to kind of learn a little more about it. Found a much more bolts for the shear pins we're going to use. No shear pins, just bolts. Um, 
tighten it down. But we're gonna go rake first. We're gonna rake the field we cut right here um, first. And then we're gonna go rake the stuff I cut there. And hopefully I can come out here and uh, bail that. Should have raked that already. All right, well, we're gonna go take the baler and stuff over there so it's all ready to go. Um, the tractor and baler's here in the shop. Just putting bolts on it and greased it. Greased the nodders and stuff. So, all right, cool. Well, let's, uh, let's go hook up the rake and go rake some grass.